Hello. 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 Sorry for the delay. Hello. Hello, hey, Sarah. So I'm going to add you to uh, co host. Okay. And Henry, are you then? All right. Alan, if you can, or Sarah, whoever is host, make me co-host, I'll keep an Already eye on did. the participant. Already did, Danny. Okay. Oh, everybody's in. Okay, good. Uh, All right. Um, I got a text from Bennett that said he's not able to make it tonight. And um, I so I think the only person we're waiting on is Shoshana. Oh, but she might not have been able to make it tonight either. I believe she sent me an email earlier in the week. I'll just um, check quickly. She said she couldn't make the planting. I didn't think she couldn't make the meeting either, but. Just want to remind everybody that we are recording. Yeah, Shoshana can't make it. So um, we're, we're all here. All right, so we'll go ahead and get uh, started officially. Gordon, are you able to take notes tonight? I guess I am. Great, thank you. And I can share my screen. Great. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. All right. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'll just have uh, everybody introduce themselves quickly. Um, I'm Sarah. I'm the chair of the committee. Um, but I guess my announcement is uh, I'm going to step down as chair. So I'm the chair of the committee for Tonight it's, uh, will be my last meeting, <laughs> um, but then we just have the, everyone else go around and uh, introduce themselves briefly. Um, on my list, Alan, I see you next. Hi, I'm Alan, I'm Tree Warden, it's town of Amherst. Um, Gordon, you're next on the, my list. Sorry, hi, I'm Gordon. I'm a, a Gordon Green. I'm a, a, a committee member. Henry? Yeah, hi, I'm Henry Lappin, a committee member once again. Britt? I am Britt Crow Miller. I am not a committee member, but I'm interested in learning more. I'm an Amherst resident and a professor of environmental conservation at UMass. Great, we're happy to have you. Happy to uh, be here. Thank you. Ellen? 
Hi, I'm Ellen Kiter, and I am a member of the TREE Committee. Julian? Hi there, my name is Julian Hines, and I am the treasurer for the TREE Committee. And Adrian? I am uh, not a committee member, but I am an Amherst resident and dedicated to trees and the shade committee. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks for rescheduling from our usual time, which was last week. Um, and uh, Henry, are you keeping an eye on if anyone else um, joins the waiting room? Yes, I'll do that. Thank you. Um, so if anyone else comes, we'll just have them introduce as they enter the meeting. All right. So next up on the agenda, we have um, announcements and public comments. So if anyone has anything they'd like to say or bring to the attention of the committee, um, please feel free. Um, but this is also very relaxed. So um, feel free to interject at any time um, if something comes up. Anyone have anything pressing to bring to our attention officially? All right, um, well, moving on to hearings then. Um, these were canceled in May, um, but they're going to be rescheduled for June. Is Are those still on, Alan? Are we still moving forward with those for June? We're trying to, yes. Okay, so uh, we can go ahead and schedule a new um, time that will work for everyone, as long as we can have a quorum um, of committee members at those um, we should be all set. Um, so our June meeting would be Tuesday the 14th. I'll just get my calendar. And typically we schedule um, the tree hearings to be before, directly before the um, shade committee meeting. So uh, that would, those would happen on the 14th. So we would need our site visit to happen before the 14th of June. Um, in the past we've used stuck with Tuesday evenings since that seems to work for um, people generally. So would five or 5.30 on June 7th work for site visits? That works for me. I think 5.30 is better for Shoshana, so. Okay, um, 5.30, is that you, Gordon? Yeah. Great. Julian, Ellen, does that, does 5.30 on June 7th work for either of you guys? That, for work. me. that works for me, thank you. Great, all right, so then we'll have enough for a quorum. So we'll schedule um, the site visits for 5.30. And this is Tuesday, June 7th. And, um, we can be uh, in touch as those things develop. Um, they've been pushed back twice now. So we'll just make sure that um, everybody is aware that they're actually gonna happen. We'll just be in touch, um, Alan, with, with you and the, the clients the, um, prior to those meetings. Very good. Great. All right. Alan, why don't you give us the addresses again? Uh, it's the... Lyceum, Lyceum Project, that's how you pronounce it, on uh, Irma's College on South Pleasant Street, um, which is about a quarter mile, not even a quarter mile south of the intersection with Route 9 in um, South Pleasant. I don't have the address, unfortunately, in front of me. So, um, and the other one is on McClellan Ave towards, um, covers several addresses, so it's um, towards North Pleasant Street end. 
Let's ask a question about um, process here. Yes. That's okay. So I live on the back side of this Lyceum project of Amherst College. So I know right where that is. Um, is is the idea here that the that there are trees that these projects are seeking to cut down and the shade tree committee has to come and evaluate that and vote to approve or not approve or based in a nutshell, is that? Yeah, uh, Alan, feel free to, to jump in. Um, we we sure. just went through this uh, with some site visits uh, about two months ago now. So um, we, the Shade Tree Committee will host a site visit um, and we go and evaluate the trees. And then at the, the um, tree warden holds the tree hearing, which is open to public comment. Um, and the uh, tree committee will listen to public comment and then make a recommendation, but the decision is ultimately of the tree warden. So the tree committee is just offering um, recommendation based on the site visit and the public comment, um, but then the, the decision is up to the tree warden. If there is um, contention, if someone uh, disagrees with the tree warden's uh, decision, then it goes to um, town manager. Um, so, so the, the committee isn't the decision-making body, but we do make a recommendation. Got it. Thank you for clarifying that. Thanks. Yes, <laughs> of course. Um, will we start at the Lyceum and then do McClellan Ave at quarter or six or six, whatever? I think that would be a good way to approach it, starting at the Lyceum. Okay. 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 All right. Um, Next, we're going to move on to approval of the April minutes and volunteer hours. Um, any comments on the April minutes? They look good to me. Yeah. Approval. <laughs> Second. Okay. Um, and then volunteer hours, um, Henry, for me, it's 10. Gordon? Uh, six for me. Julian? Seven. And Ellen? Eight. Yeah, I think I have about 20 this month. Uh, Adrian? Uh, two. Okay. And Britt, do you, this meeting, did you do anything else? So this meeting counts, so we'll, we'll give you two for that. Okay, thanks. Okay. And I'll check with uh, Bennett and uh, Shoshana. Good. And I'll also I'll post the um, minutes from, we approved the April minutes, right? Okay. Great. Thank you, Henry. Um, next up, we have committee reports. Um, so I'll start. This will be my last chair report. Thank you. It's been great. Um, I go back to work from my maternity leave in, next month, so it's just going to be too many uh, loose ends for me to keep track of everything with that transition, uh, but I'm going to stay on the committee, so um, just not uh, going to be acting as chair. Um, the Arbor Day event was great. Uh, the signs, uh, thank you to Ellen for those and uh, to Bennett for his great ideas. They were really uh, eye-catching. It was excellent to have them up around our booth. Um, and then we used them for the planting um, on Saturday. So those are great, um, great idea. Thank you so much. Um, the, I thought the event was great. I'd love to hear other people's, uh, if I have to go suddenly for baby, please excuse me. Um, uh, I'd love to hear everyone else's experiences. I was there for the first um, half of the, the day that we were tabling, but I thought we had pretty good turnout. We definitely had some really nice conversations with different people. We ended up having um, Catherine come to our Saturday planting who we saw at the event. Um, so that was great. And we got people added to our um, email list. Um, 
giving out the trees. It was really fun this year to have two different varieties and it was kind of for wetter sites and drier sites. I thought that was a great way to kind of um, reach more people. I know people are always a little uh, sometimes skeptical of bringing home a tree that's one day going to be a very large tree and this way we're able to tailor a little bit more to specific sites and I thought that was uh, a nice touch. Um, and I, the collaboration that we had with the Historical Society able to get that big tree cookie from the bride tree, that was really cool. So I thought our booth looked, looked really good this year. Um, and I'd love to hear um, more from you guys, what your experiences were, if anyone wants to comment about the Arbor Day tabling. I visited, I thought it was great. It prompted me to come to this meeting, which is something I'd been thinking about for a long time. So I thought it was great. Thank you, Britt. Great to have you. Um, it worked. <laughs> that The outreach and, um, you know, uh, that's the, the event that we have the most public outreach um, and awareness at that Arbor Day tabling event. So it's great that, yeah, that we're, we're actually reaching people. Excellent. Um, at our uh, planting this last Saturday, uh, Rambling Road and Country Corners, it was so hot. Even though we plant in the morning, it was already getting very, very warm. So I'd like to really thank um, Alan, Gordon, Henry, and Julian for coming out um, despite the heat. Uh, and we had a couple um, volunteers, like I said, Catherine, who we um, got in touch with at the Arbor Day event came and Sue was there. Um, so that was great to have some volunteers. And then also uh, Larry, who is um, lives in that neighborhood. I think he's associated with the, the HOA. I don't know the official, um, his official title, but he's associated with the HOA um, in that neighborhood. And um, he was out and was uh, very appreciative of the work we were doing and planted a couple trees with us. So that was really nice to be in touch with people in that community. Um, and then I think that's about it for me, for chair notes, everything else I have to um, touch on is going to come up as we get to presentations and discussions. So, um, Henry, oh, I also wanted to say, uh, the tree tour was great. Um, Thanks to Henry and Ellen for putting that together and Henry for leading it. That was a, it was a really fun event that we had on Mother's Day. Um, I did mention to Ellen um, while we were there that uh, I'd like to work with you guys to make some signs to put on those trees, which I think will help when it's a self-guided tour. Mm -hmm. um, just have a visual cue for people to know which tree it is exactly. Um, and we can put some of those uh, anecdotes and um, like tidbits. Ellen, you did a lot of research and Henry, you had a lot of kind of funny anecdotes or um, just great little stories that go with each tree and, and different um, specific trees and tree species. So we can work together to make some signs up to help with a, a self-guided version of that tour. Um, and yeah, that was a great event. So, um, that's it for me and uh, Henry, um, I'll hand it over to you if you have anything to add for a report. Um, well, just in terms of the tree tour, we'll talk about that later, but um, yeah, there's a lot of people who didn't come, like have contacted me and saying, when are you doing it again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in a rush to do it again, but maybe in the fall would be a nice time to do it again. Um, yeah, and then on the, through our email, um, we're, we're, getting, we're hearing from a few different people, not a lot this month, but Alan, um, Barbara Pearson, 11 Page Street, did you see that she had contacted us? Uh, yes, those are the Arborvitaes. I think so, yeah. So yeah. did you reach out to her? Do I need to do that again? No, I, I, I talked to her. Okay. And then um, David Bossy on 20 Strong Street uh, had some, a tree that was going to, you talked to him about possibly removing? 20 Strong Street? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the, um, we just planted a tree there. He's concerned about some of the other trees. 
that were yeah exactly dying yeah okay yeah i did we spoke okay good henry i'm sorry what was that name again and what was it? bossy what was the first name david b-o-s-s-e I don't know that that needs, well, I guess it's good to have it in the minutes. Yeah. And Barbara Pearson was the other one, P E A R, yeah, Pear S O N. Yeah. And that's about it. Um, yeah, when we talk about the plantings, I had some things to think about too, so to say. Oh, so we should actually, probably the next step is to choose the next chair. Um, yeah, is it, does anyone, um, want to be the next chair? Any volunteers? I would do it if no one else is interested or would rather have the position. Um, I can do it, but if other people want to do it, then. Uh, I'm open to it being someone else. Ellen or Gordon? Gordon's not uh, here, um, but oh, I'm here. Oh, sorry, here. sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, in my mind, I heard Bennett. I'm so sorry. Gordon, okay. Of course, you're here. For some reason, the two of us <laughs> always get mixed up. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't have an interest in doing it, but uh, certainly support you, Henry, if you want to. But maybe I wonder if we can talk it talk about it next time when Shoshana and Bennett are available. Or um, I don't know. Is there an official process for that? Do we vote, or how does it work? Yeah, we vote to uh, see among the folks who would be interested. I presume. Um, I'd be happy with moving it to when uh, Gord, to when H Bennett and Shoshona are available. I'd be happy to decide now, whatever works for you guys. Henry, if you want to do it, more than willing. You were an amazing chair last time. If you want me to do it, I am would be honored to as well. Um, why don't I, I'll do it, I guess. And then if you guys want me and um, Julian, we should talk and we can, I can start getting you ready to become the chair sort of thing. Okay, sure, yeah. that works for me. I mean, can I just, can I just pipe in yep. here on something? Um, I think it would be, a, it's a good idea, I think, to wait to have a, you know, a whole committee. It's such a, such a small committee. I don't know if, if uh, Bennett or Shoshana are interested or not. Um, and uh, I'd also give um, some time for Julian maybe to talk to Sarah and Henry you know, one to one, and kind of get an idea of, you know, the um, the amount of work involved, and um, also just to make sure that uh, it wouldn't interfere with your schoolwork. Absolutely. Interfere with what? Schoolwork. He's still in school, so that comes first. I think that sounds good. I did reach out to um, Bennett and Shoshana and let them know that I'm going to be stepping down. Um, I know Shoshana is chair of the art commission and um, Bennett is very busy. So I don't think either of them are interested in the position, um, but it would certainly be nice to have them as part of the process and able to, to cast their vote officially. Um, so we can wait to have an official chair election um, at our June meeting. Um, but Henry, we can we can have June be a transition handoff month. Um, and Julian, you can be a part of that and get involved. And um, so Henry, I can let you um, officially pull the agenda together um, and all of that, but I'm happy to, to help out. And um, Julian, we can just include you in that process so that you get more of a sense of the responsibilities. Um, I will say it is more work than it might seem like. Um, it's right. definitely been a, a, a balancing act. There are, you know, being on the committee is uh, the number of deadlines 
each month and things that you have to stay on top of is a lot more for the chair, even though it's just kind of like regular housekeeping stuff. Um, I've found that it's just tricky for me in, in yeah. my position um, to, right. to stay on top of all of the different deadlines and things that need to be done every month for the, the committee to, to run. Um, so, right. so having a, a transitor transitional handoff period um, would be fine and we can do an official vote in June. Sounds good. All right, so I'll organize the meeting and uh, and then um, whoever gets elected will then chair the meeting. Great. Okay. Okay. Um, before we go on, Britt, did you um, fill out the form to join our committee? I have not yet filled out the form, okay. but I Never. Yeah. plan to. And I don't think it would make sense for me to throw myself in for for a chair if I uh, I think I need to learn no, learn yet. the ropes and get get some sense of how things function. So. <laughs> and right now we do have a full um, committee, so you'd have to wait till the next opening, which would probably happen in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. And um, but like Adrian, lots of people have come to have become and we consider everybody part of the meeting. Everyone can speak. So, you know, the only difference is you can't actually vote on things. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I just have a lot. I've lived here for two years and have a lot of concerns about the way that trees seem to. I, I live next to this Amherst College project and there, there are a lot of trees going down on a regular basis. So just thought I would check things out. Yeah, and um, the site visit although the you know the the site visit and the tree hearing are all open um to to community members um so you're you're welcome to to come and any other concerned citizens if you have neighbors who are also interested um please feel free to let them know about our the dates and times and it's all open to the public great i will do that um okay uh I think that's it for chair reports. Um, so we can move on to the tree warden report. All right. Um, hi, everybody. Um, don't have a lot to report on. I mean, we've already discussed um, the tree hearings coming up. Um, we're going to be discussing grants and things like that. Um, there's some good movement on that as far as training opportunities, things like that. So I'll skip that. Um, second Saturday planting went well. Um, it was 18 trees and we got about 12 of them in, which was pretty good for a, a small turnout. Everybody worked uh, really hard and um, efficiently and we seemed to get it done nicely and everything looks like it's properly planted at the right depths and we went back on Monday and we staked some of the trees that were a little, uh, you know, not firm in their planting holes. Um, and the people came out and were uh, very happy that we participated uh, on their street with the second Saturday tree planting. So that'll be a beautiful, uh, beautiful row of trees come uh, 15 years or so. so um, we- Alan, Alan, did you pick up the signs? I did not. No. Do you want me to? So, um, I thought you would, but um, oh, okay. can somebody go pick up the signs who lives in South Amherst? I can pick them up tonight. Great. Okay. Great. Yeah. There's some um, at the beginning of uh, Country Corners, a little bit up Country Corners, then around in front of Rambling, there's one. You got it. Yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah. So, um, we need to gear up for the next round of second Saturday plantings. Um, so I have a couple thoughts on that and it kind of blends back in with the inventory project, the grant we have for the, the tree inventory in town. Um, but uh, for June, we could do um, Groff Park Mill Lane possibly. It might be ready for planting at that point but I'm not sure yet. Um, that project, the sidewalk project on Mill Lane has to be done um, 
by the before the end of June. So it has to happen very quickly. Um, there's definitely some trees that we can actually plant in the park as well as along the ball field section of Mill Lane where there's no construction happening. Um, another area that needs trees desperately, um, two more dying sugar maple trees just came down and we took down, a, we're in the process of taking down another dying sugar maple tree over on um, Orchard Street, I think it is, uh, next to Woodside. Um, so Woodside and uh, Orchard Street are in desperate need. We did, Woodside was actually one of the first plantings we did in town um, on a volunteer basis, uh, you know, 10 years ago, I think. Um, and it's kind of sad to see all those big sugar maples go. Um, Alan, I, I live on Woodside. So I know the whole neighborhood would support having having and you know orchard as well um would definitely support that happening so that's good to hear <laughs> um so that's that's an option so woodside orchard or groff mill lane uh for a second saturday um, plant things um so we usually do a work day when it gets too hot um and we have a training opportunities as part of this grant for the tree inventory to learn, to have someone come and actually train us, train volunteers and train some of my staff um, to actually collect the tree data correctly for the tree inventory. Um, so if you know, we wanna to try to squeeze in a training day and then in, um, July actually do a work day collecting tree data, we spread out around different roads and do it. Um, I'm looking for some input from the committee and how you feel about participating in that or what would work for the committee. I would participate in that. Me too. Uh, first of all, I'm glad to hear what the grant, grant came through. I didn't realize. That's oh, great. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Both of our grants were approved. So. Excellent. Um, I think a training day would be great. Um, and I would certainly like to participate in that and then do um, data gathering. I think incorporating that into the July or August work day, um, which we usually, you know, we often use for pruning and mulching and watering. Um, considering how hot it is, we might not want to give up some of that tree maintenance for our trees. Um, but I would certainly be open to, to doing a substitution for one of the months or just doing an additional work day um, to, to gather some of that information. So I think that's a great idea. And I, it'd be um, awesome, I think, for the Shade Tree Committee to participate and get some of those volunteer hours in for the grant match. I think it'd be good to put that out to, you know, our whole mailing list to maybe get volunteers, not just members of the committee for that. Yeah. So um, I need to coordinate with the person who's going to do the training. Um, and what, um, what does the committee feel would be a, you know, a good day or a good time of day? Would it be another kind of Saturday or an evening training classroom. Are we talking about July or sooner? You tell me what would work. It would training would probably be a bit of a hybrid. It'd probably be some short classroom training possibly, and then going out and actually practicing collecting tree data. Um, so you're looking at um, things that you look at are like, you know, how to measure DBH, how to um, measure the tree crown spread, um, tree height, uh, how to identify, you know, decay and cavities and trees and percent of live versus dead crown and things like that, leaf condition. Do you have a location, Alan, with this 
be like at the DPW office or is there a place we would meet for the classroom and then field portion of this or is that still to be determined? Still to be determined, but I would imagine it would be uh, probably, you know, at one of the meeting rooms we have around town somewhere. And we'd probably go out to one of our parks or something, maybe Kendrick um, and, and practice. Alan, do you have a sense of how many hours this would be? Uh, probably four hours, something like that. I was wondering if we should shoot for the morning or the afternoon so that the outdoor part is at a cooler part of the day. But I guess if we're just, if we're not digging holes, it's the temperature in the place are critical. And you're under the shade of the trees too, so. Yeah. Um, if it's gonna be four hours, I think a weekend, that would certainly work better for me, but I think for a lot of work, regular working hours, um, evenings, it would just be getting quite late by the time we'd be finished with that. If we're gonna do it all in one day and not, you know, two evenings. Um, so Saturday. Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday sounds best, although I in June I have no free Saturdays. I don't have, I think I have one in July, so. Um. Okay. Well, I can, I can get some more details and, and some ideas of what they've done in the past with other groups for training and see if it can be broken up into a smaller training, maybe, maybe an online training and then a outdoor training. Um, sure. Do Sundays work also? What's, would Sundays work for you, Henry? Yes. That's an option for me as well, if, if that's um, available for other people. Works for me. Me too. Yeah, uh, weekends are really my only free time, but it depends what weekend it is. So summer gets busy. To, to that comment, Ellen, which is a great point, it might make sense to schedule this tentatively out just so people can kind of plan around it a little bit. Um, and putting it maybe towards the end of June so that we can put out in our June newsletter and at our meeting, advertise for other volunteers to attend. Um, let's see, it's like the last weekend in June is the 25th and 26th. 26 works for me. Of course, it has to work for the trainer too. <laughs> you want to tentatively say June twenty sixth? Yeah, and the, or the the weekend before that also is also an option. I'm thinking the weekend after that is the Fourth of July weekend, and that's probably going to be busy for a lot of folks. Yeah. Previous Sunday, the nineteenth, is Father's Day. Just so you're aware. Oh, thank you. It's also Juneteenth. So yeah, that's probably I think not a good weekend. Yeah. No. Then, so yeah. All right. So the twenty sixth works works for me, um, Alan. And we can see if that okay. works for the the trainer. Sounds good. And I'll just add if if you know you end up with lots of volunteers from your listserv, I don't think it would be out of the question to um, ask for a classroom at UMass. It's a public institution, and I can easily reserve that if you have a ton of people and the town spaces don't accommodate that. Um, that could definitely work. So, thank you. All right. Um, is that it for the tree warden report, Alan? Yes. Okay, then we will go to the treasurer report. Yeah, thank you. So um, there was two transactions this month. Um, we have a current balance of 
$475.52. Um, and that is subtracting $3,000 for Allen's trees um, for the monthly tree planting budget we've initiated, as well as $112 for pamphlets uh, to hand out at the Arbor Day event. And I believe we still have some left. Any question? Sounds good. Thank you, Julian. Um, next, we are into our presentations and discussion section. Um, first up, we have the town sidewalk projects. Um, this is encompassing a, a number of the uh, sidewalk improvement projects um, the town is doing this season. Alan, do you have updates on, on those? Mm -hmm. The um, So uh, they have pretty much finished the Amity Street sidewalk project. Um, we've got some new opportunities, uh, not the sidewalks done to plant trees there as well on Amity Street. Um, then they're moving over to some sidewalk projects uh, that will cross over from uh, the east side of Triangles, um, east side of East Pleasant Street by where the old Partucci's was over to Kenneth Park. So they're putting in a crossing there. And then they're jumping over to Mill Lane to start um, the Mill Lane project. Um, again, there are no true removals taking place on either of those two projects. Uh, over on um, Kellogg Ave, which is probably where they'll go next, is uh, we have to complete the removals of two trees there um, being held up by Verizon because they have a utility pole guide to one of the trees we're trying to take down. Um, I've been having a difficult time contacting their people. So, um, uh, I think that's it. Oh, East Pleasant, uh, the other side of Kendrick Park, North Pleasant Street. Um, they're still working through that, um, but it looks like it's going to happen, but not happen this year for the um, making North Pleasant Street one way from McClellan to North Pleasant to Triangle Street, um, and then installing new back in parking and sidewalk along Kendrick Park. So. Um, Ellen, I didn't get all that, but I, I, I got that the, it sounds like Amity Street and Kellogg Avenue are the ones that involve trees, so. Well, Amity Street didn't involve removing of any live trees. We took down we're planting uh, new dead crab apple, but the, for planting, um, Amity Street is a good opportunity. Um, yeah. I've been waiting to plant some trees there uh, till they finish the sidewalk project. So they're done. But, but the um, other ones aren't, uh, aren't, don't affect trees? Correct. Okay. Yes. Well, sorry, <laughs> that's the big one, McClellan Street. <laughs> oh. Has, McClellan Street is going to, there's a couple dying trees I take down. Um, and then there's those four pine trees uh, that seem like everybody in the neighborhood wants taken down. Um, uh, they're going to be, they've lifted up a sidewalk pretty severely in that area and they're just outgrowing their location in the little grass belt. So, um, and they're also self-destructing as, uh, as they grow there, so. Those are the ones that I'm holding the tree hearing for. Okay. Uh, next up, we have the social media update. Um, Shoshana is out, so we'll wait to hear on um, how Facebook is going. Um, but Julian, do you wanna speak to Instagram? Yeah, of course. So our Instagram page is going well. I think we got five more followers recently and posted stuff about the town tree tour, as well as a reminder about our most recent uh, planting on Country Corners Road. Um, one thing I was thinking about is possibly posting things before the hearings to uh, hopefully inform any neighbors who may be using those social media platforms or anybody who's interested that they can attend. So I guess I might try that for 
uh, our next tree hearing. But other than that, that is our social media update. Great. Um, next up, we have the town tree tour. Um, so Henry, I'll turn it over to you um, and Ellen, if you have anything you wanna add. Um, I think it went great. Um, so happy to hear more. Um, yeah, I was, I was just totally thrilled that we had 43 people. I never expected that. And um, we had the town manager and his partner were there and uh, it's really good for him to see a crowd of people who are interested in trees and to hear the work we've done. Uh, you know, he's a, he supports us, but not strongly, I don't think. And uh, I brought up the uh, line item, uh, line budget line item for trees um, with a reference. I wasn't attacking him and he, he took it humorously, which is good, uh, referring to the former town manager who had put a lot of money into trees, um, but that he saw a lot of interest in trees. And then, you know, it was good. It was a really good thing for us. Um, Ellen, do you want to add anything right now? And then I want to talk about future steps. Yeah, no, I was really pleased with the turnout. Um, I asked a couple people how they heard about it. Um, a lot of them said through the bulletin, the Amherst bulletin. So that's something to remember. Um, you know, if we want to do some press releases in the future, if we have another tour or any event um, and social media also. So um, just good to know where where people hear of these things. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought it went really well. Um, it took, it was about an hour and 15 minutes, you know, lots of engaged people and questions. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't really have any critical feedback, <laughs> I guess. Um, Henry, can so I just... Add here that I received a letter today from Susan Cummings from uh, Greenleaves Drive, made a donation to the committee um, oh. after attending the uh, tree tour. So she enjoyed it. Oh, that's so great. Yay. Does that street need trees? I haven't been over there recently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Greenleaves no. doesn't really. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Cummings? What was Susan her name? Cummings. Yes. So, um, Julian, you should send out a thank you card. Do you have the cards? I do not have the cards. Okay, so if we get together, I, I think I have some and uh, maybe uh, Sarah has more. I don't know. Sarah, are you still there? I'm here. I've just got a baby. Um, yeah. uh, I think Shoshana is the one who has them. Okay, I will reach out to her and maybe she can do it or she can give them to me so I can do it. Yeah, and you can get the address and uh, everything from Alan. Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, so the next steps are, um, Ellen and I need to work on the brochure for the self-guided tour. Um, I think also it just brought up, like the publicity that got in the bulletin happened because I thought to do something about it a week before. I think we really need an organized, maybe we need a publicist on the committee or someone who's going to, and I have a list of places, like I contacted Scott Mearsbach from the Bulletin and Gazette, and also uh, Phyllis, is that her name, who does the little column in the Bulletin every week around town, and uh, it's usually, you know, someone's traveling and this happened and the flowers are blooming, so, but she'll post events in the town too, so I sent that to her and she published, publicized it as well. So remembering to do that for our, for all our events, not just this, the plantings, et cetera, even for meetings, be really good to get more of that out. Um, so I've been compiling a list of publicity places and we, we need someone to take that on at some point. Yeah, and then signs for the trees would be great, so. Yeah, great. I would love to do that. I have um, a template um, that we can start from, and uh, I think that'd be a great addition to uh, the self-guided brochure. You thinking the same signs we've put up before? 
something similar. I think making them a bit different so that it's clear it's for the um, the tree tour and able to have you know some different facts in there about each specific tree um, or the tree species would be cool. Um, but it's definitely a good launching point. Um, and I'm I'm definitely thinking similar, um, you know, graphic and size and material. A couple of the trees um, are on Amherst College property and on private property and a couple, yeah, Dickinson Museum. So I don't know that we have permission or we'll get permission to put signs on those. Um, just something to think about. Do you want to ask Amherst College about that? Since a lot of the trees are on there. I know. I mean, they already have them tagged with their numbers. Um, I think I'd need to see what the signs look like. You know, they're gonna, they'll either shoot me down or say, you know, they wanna see a, a sample of what the, what this looks like. Um, and again, I don't know that the private tree, private owners are gonna want to advertise that there's <laughs> a, a really great tree we're seeing, even though that, you know, you don't have to go onto their property to see it, but. You might have to walk on their property to read a sign. Sorry, Alan, what, what was this location? Oh, they're just, there's a couple of trees uh, on the, the, the tree tour that Henry developed. There's okay. a couple of trees that are on private property on Amherst College property. So um, it would just, I think there might be an issue with putting signs up. You might suggest doing the signs in a similar format to how they mark their historic homes that are owned by the college, right? If that seems to be a format that they're comfortable with, you know, I in 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 my neighborhood, lots of the homes have those markers out at the edge of the property, and I don't know, okay. just a suggestion. Yeah, I'd have to I'd have to take a look at that, but that certainly makes a lot of sense. Can you, uh, Britt, can you uh, take a picture of one of those and send it to? Sure. Send it to me, I'll send it to yeah. me and I'll send it out to the committee. Yep, I can do that when I walk my dogs later. So. Great. So that's all for this for now, but uh, at some point, Ellen, you and I should get together and start figuring out, I think it's gonna be a ton of work to get the brochure out, you know, figure it out, but. Uh, that's good work. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, next up, we have second Saturday plantings. Um, the past planting at Rambling Road and Country Corners went really well, despite the heat. Um, and uh, Alan, are you just going to let us know about location for uh, the the next planting in June or is that something you want feedback on or that the committee yeah. can decide or, or help with in any way? Um, yeah, so we are uh, June, second week, third week of June, uh, May right now. Um, so it's fast approaching. <laughs> I guess we should probably make a decision now. Um, yeah. I really need to grind the stumps on Woodside. The tree on the uh, orchard that we're waiting to take down to finish, we, there's a squirrel's nest in it. So we're waiting for the squirrels to get big enough so we can relocate them. Um, so yeah, let's do Groff. We'll do Groff Park and uh, Mill Lane in June. Great. Okay. All right, um, next up we have the town tree inventory, which we've um, touched on a little bit for the training day. Um, we did get that grant. Um, and the so I think it was pretty unanimous that the committee was interested in being um, part of the training and very active in that part of the grant um, and data collection, but we're also going to need to be um, a part of the management plan. Um, so I think that's a good opportunity for the committee to um, 
weigh in um, with a, a town-wide management plan for uh, the, the inventory and our town trees. I would just suggest, I'm probably speaking too much not having been on these meetings before, but um, I have students who are working with the town of Northampton on their tree inventories and they're using iTree uh, as kind of a crowdsourced database. And I know that's how they do the tree inventory in, uh, in New York City as well. And, and my students who are doing this work, um, graduate students suggest that it's, it's a great resource to have and easy to maintain. So I would just put that out there as an option and I could engage with them more to, to ask questions if that would be helpful. Great, are they um, working for the town or are they doing this as part of a project? Yeah, so I have one student um, who is working for the town of Northampton as um, it's paid, actually I think it's unpaid, um, but it is part of what we call their practicum experience for their um, masters in sustainability science. Um, and so they are, yeah, essentially updating the, the town's tree inventory in specific areas um, using iTree. And I know they went, they went through some training, but um, it's a, a method that I guess they have, they have adopted because other large cities are, are trying to use that and finding success. And because it's, it's digitized and so people can access that information online, like UMass has something similar where you can log on and see every tree that's been put into the system and click on it and learn about it. Um, so it, it fosters more public engagement um, with um, questions about trees. That's good to know. Um, that's, we, the first round of inventory we did back in 2010, um, the, uh, we did it through a consultant and they use their software, Davey Resource Group, um, but it was all formatted in the iTree format. Um, so our inventory is you know, 10, 12 years old now, um, and we're gonna update this inventory plus hopefully add some new streets. Um, but we're gonna try to do it with our own with our own staff and volunteers. Right. So that's, uh, yeah, that's great. Good to know. Cool. Um, Britt, if you want to um, give our email to your students or see if that's something they're interested in, um, I think just have it, you know, if they're interested in speaking to our committee or, um, telling us about their experience or anything like that. I think it'd be great to hear from them about their, they're doing exactly what we're gonna be doing our training for. Um, it would be great to, to hear from them and things they've learned, that sort of thing um, as part of our, our training for, for us kind of going out and doing the same thing. So that would be a great resource if um, they have time and interest. Yeah, I'd be happy to, to put that out there um, and see if they might be able to just give us kind of their, yeah, their take on things and, and any lessons learned. Um, but on that note, I have to duck out. I didn't know that this went for two hours and my partner's out of town and I only have a babysitter until 6.30. So I need to run, but I will uh, attend for the full session next time, I promise. And um, thanks everyone. <laughs> so thanks. Thank, Thank you. you, Britt. Thank you, Britt. Thanks for coming. Um, all right, um, next up we have the History Museum. Um, so we also have that grant, um, which involves fundraising, public outreach and public education. Uh, I was talking with Alan about this last week. Um, I think putting together a subcommittee of people from the, the History Museum and from the Tree Committee to kind of help assist them with these, uh, the fundraising and public outreach and um, education. Um, the, the Tree Tour was a great collaboration and I think that, um, you know, got a lot of awareness. Uh, Henry, your, your point you're making earlier about using different media um, opportunities for, for reaching out to the public is a great point here. Um, and, so I think a subcommittee, um, you know, that kind of is a collaboration between our two groups uh, could really help move this grant along and kind of check off all the boxes of everything that we need to do for, for our requirements for fulfilling the grant. Um, 
uh, specifically, I know Shoshana has connections there and she's not at this meeting, but um, I would can reach out to her um, and see if her connection um, point person at the museum um, and if she herself is interested in being on a subcommittee. Um, but we, we just want to make sure that we're facilitating and moving along all of our uh, responsibilities for, for that grant. Um, I'm very interested in helping out with that project as well. Um, I, uh, Henry had sent me the grant um, materials, so I've read through them. But yeah, I'm, I'm sort of, uh, one thing I don't know is what our timeline is and um, you know, anxious to get started on it before, uh, you know, the tree, just all those suckers at the bottom drive me crazy. <laughs> so I'm just curious when, when things can get started. And obviously with the thunderstorms we started having last night, um, would love to get some lightning protection and all those other things. Yeah, so the, um, the deadline would be a year. So we have a year from the time of award. So, um, and there's, they're supposed to award the grant in late winter, early spring, and they didn't award it till late spring. So we've missed the opportunity to do some of the work that was kind of spring related work. Um, so we'll be doing that type of work probably in the spring of next of 23. Um, the, um, I have to get uh, new bids. So I do pour, to perform some of the work that we need to have done by contractor. So I have to put that work together and get that out there. Um, <clears throat> I did hear from the History Museum. They are working on a lecture series. They do want to have a guest speaker um, come and talk. Uh, so kind of in the beginning phases of planning that and picking a time possibly in the fall again um, instead of doing it in the spring as we had proposed um, so it's starting to come together um, i need to get through a uh, full opening season and a couple other things um, and then i can put some more time into the the inventory and History. Fall history. would be a good time to plant the uh, bride, new bride tree also. Yeah. I mean, obviously we want to do a lot of this when there's a lot of people around. And in the summertime, there tends to be fewer people around. So. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm happy to help with that. And I um, know some people on the board at the museum, so I can also be a contact. That'd be great. Thank you. Just let me know when to start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. That's great. Um, next up, we have the Tree City USA awards ceremony. Um, yep. Yeah, I, Ellen, you have that date and info. It's uh, June eighth in uh, Acton, Mass, and it's a. Uh, sort of outdoor event. Uh, I think it's in a tent uh, with some kind of canopy. Um, and I have reserved two spaces, one for myself and one for somebody else. Town manager has not gotten back to me whether he wanted to attend. Um, there might be room for three, for two other people, um, depending upon how many other people reserve uh, for the event, other communities. So I can let you know more, but if there's, you know, if someone from the committee is interested in attending, um, it's, they usually have a good speaker of, some, of somebody there and uh, you get a good lunch and you get your picture taken receiving an award, so. And I think it's really good for our committee to be represented. I was at one of them some years ago, a few years ago. Um, so if anyone can come if anyone can go that day, it'd be great. What time is it, Ellen? I think it starts at 9. A.M.? Mm -hmm. A.M., yes. Um, that is before I have to go back to work. So I, I could possibly go. I will have a baby with me. Okay. But, um, but I am available on that day.
So I'll plug Sarah in if no one else is interested. This is anybody who would be a standby who want to go if we have a third potential person. Okay. Sounds good. All right, thanks, Alan. Um, and uh, new chair, we're going to table for next month to do the official vote for that. Um, so we will just do a quick run through of old ongoing items, um, things to just kind of keep um, an eye on and not to lose sight of. Um, so if any, if you have updates, anyone on any of these things as I go through, um, please feel free to just um, speak up. Uh, Kendrick Park, North Pleasant Street Road redesign, that's gonna be for next year, I believe. Um, it is. I watched the presentation at the town council meeting recently. Thank you, Julian. Next up, the North Common Mary Maple. Oh, Alan, do we have an updated timeline for that? It seems like it's continuing to get pushed back. I don't have an official update or you know official word, but it seems like it might not happen till next spring, possibly. So. Okay. Um, we've we've talked a bit about the Mary Maple and what the tree committee might be interested in doing. Um, and I, the general consensus that I've been hearing through those conversations is that instead of taking an official position, the tree committee is more interested in facilitating discussions around the Mary Maple. Um, so it looks like if that's not happening until next spring, we have some time to figure out what we want to do, but I, I do think um, addressing it um, or a little bit earlier, you know, not right before the tree comes down. We'll just give people a little bit of time to talk about it, come to terms. I know there's going to be a lot of uh, pushback against removing that tree. Um, a lot of people are going to want to do everything possible to save the tree for as long as possible. Um, so that's something to just keep in mind. We don't have to have those discussions, but if you everyone wants to kind of mull it over, um, we are gonna, we, it's gonna come up. So we should, um, you know, kind of be prepared for that and figure out what we want to do and say about it. Anybody have anything pressing they want to, to say about that now or just food for thought for later? Okay, um, next up the Northampton Road. Um, I'm sure everyone's aware of all the construction that's going on. Um, so that's uh, a project to just kind of uh, keep up with. Um, I know Shoshana took some pictures. It might be a good idea to take some pictures of the process um, to include in our um, case study. Um, so that's just an ongoing uh, case study that we'll be putting together library trees i don't know any update Hold on, on um, that henry yes Sarah, do you want to check in with shoshana about the northampton road yeah i can see uh, if she's able to take um other photos um yeah and uh, i might be able to if she's not so yeah i can do that um Library trees. Uh, yeah, I, I've just sort of dropped the ball and I have not been able to get to any of the meetings or even find out what's happening with that, but I will put it back on my list to do. Thanks, Henry. Um, new members, we have a full committee, so I don't think we're actively looking for new members, but it was great to have Britt and um, have um, you know, more interest in people who are interested in joining the committee, um, even if they want to act as a volunteer before they're officially um, elected. And uh, we met quite a few people at the um, Arbor Day event who seemed interested in getting involved. So um, I think that was, that's great. Um, complete streets, state level initiatives, that's still ongoing. Um, 
that might be a, a project that I pick up when I have when I'm no longer chair and I'm just working on an individual project. Um, that's something that I'm interested in. Um, yeah, Alan. Alan, you had mentioned um, a gathering of tree wardens is something where I could talk or someone from our committee could talk about the statewide initiatives. Yeah, so um, I'm part of the Western Mass chapter of the Mass Tree Wardens and Foresters Association. And we, uh, we have our, our dinner meetings three times a year in Northampton. Uh, and it's open to, you know, private tree care companies, tree wardens, tree committees, general public, anybody interested in trees. Um, and since I'm part of the group that helps design the schedule um, and, and speak speakers, uh, we could definitely come up with uh, one idea that him and I were bouncing around was having uh, one of the sessions be a combined tree committee, you know, two or three tree committees from Western Mass uh, talking about their their programs and their needs concerns. Do you have dates or the June what the June um, date is all set and speakers are set the September September meeting is not fully laid out yet um, and that would be September eighth. The main presentation that evening is going to be from the Department of Labor Safety talking about um, safety in the workforce in municipalities. So the first presentation of the evening is a half an hour. The second presentation after dinner is an hour. So potentially could fit in there the half hour. When is it? September 8th. Okay. At 5.30 in the evening at the Blue Bonnet Diner. Right. You only went to the last one. I am hoping yeah. to come to this one as well. Yeah, I would love to speak at it, or Julian, you could speak at it, but uh, sure. So, yeah. I'm also happy to help put stuff together, um, a speaker, or just to help assist in putting together a presentation for someone else to, to speak. <laughs> um, Next up is the significant tree ordinance. This hasn't moved forward at all, but the next steps are gonna be um, getting involved with uh, other town groups so that there's um, you know, more awareness and more people interested in this um, so that you know, we have some interdisciplinary uh, support. Um, town budget, the... Um, Town budget has been published. The uh, Shade Tree Committee um, and well, Alan and his department did not get a line item for tree plantings this year. Um, so that's something to uh, keep in mind for next year that we do, um, you know, another round of public interest and support um, and try to get that in next year's budget. Um, hopefully, with a little bit more time, we're able to to garner a little bit more awareness about this and get some more support for that. And then the website is still to be updated. In terms of the line item budget, the Gazette did, or uh, well, the Bulletin did publish our um, letter that Bennett wrote. So. All right, are there any other um, committee comments before we wrap up? Good meeting. Yeah. I just want to thank Sarah for um, all her hard work. And uh, I understand why you need to step down. But, uh, thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, it's been great, um, and I, I'm happy to stay to be able to stay on the committee. Um, and and a little bit sad that I'm not able to continue. 
but as you can all hear, <laughs> there's a uh, just other nice things to going have on. green in the background. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, then um, we can adjourn. Thank you, everyone. Um, and I, I believe our um, our next um, planting is before our next meeting. So I'll be seeing you all at our site visits um, and and our planting before the the next meeting. Thank you, sir. Hey, thanks, I can't sir. make the next planting, but I will be at the Thank meeting. Thank you. Have a good night. Hey, everybody. Bye, everybody.